Hello Aries, this is Leah and I will be doing your monthly reading for July. And I'm doing something different. I'm going to go with the flow versus doing my original pre-shuffled. Just trying to see what comes out of this. Just doing something different. And I noticed that doing the readings shorter is a little bit better for me because when I do channel readings for an hour, y'all, I am tired. I am exhausted. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe if I just go with the flow, the readings be shorter. You guys will see things that will resonate with you and I'll still have my energy. Okay. So let's start. And please like, share, and subscribe, guys. For movement, definitely like travel focus in the month of uh, July. Okay, so you guys will be traveling. Some of you guys might find yourself find yourselves looking up to the stars a lot, or being really curious about space and time and matter and black matter. Like, all you guys are being more interested in, like, the universe and how the universe works in different planets. And maybe even, like, what would human uh, civilization would be like on other planets. <laughs> I never got anything like that before, but it's probably only for one of you. But, yeah, guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I thought you guys could be rem reminiscing about a friend. For those that are traveling, you guys are missing a friend from afar, girlfriend, or boyfriend, or family member for, from afar. But it's like a, you guys are like daydreaming. Like you find yourselves daydreaming a lot, Aries. Okay. Yeah, daydreaming in your head. Uh, worried even. Some of you guys are either worried about something or daydreaming about something or possibly even both. Like daydreaming and worrying. Like, okay. Here's what I'm getting. Some of you guys could be um, worried about a person that you, poss you possibly did not get along with for a while. Whether it's a romantic partner mother, relative, friend, or cousin. And you daydreaming about things that... You guys are daydreaming about good memories that you have with that person. You're daydreaming about, man, I wish things were the way they used to be before things went bad between us. You guys are really daydreaming about, like, the good memories that you have with this person or people. And you kind of worried about the solution, right? But, okay, so what do I need to do to get back on good terms with this person? And, guys, maybe this is not you. This is someone, like, hoping and wishing to get back on good terms with you in the month of July, okay? And they're thinking really hard, like, how can I make this right? Are you thinking really hard, Aries, on how can you make this right? Yeah, you guys are really, um, I'm picturing someone, like, really thinking hard, like, how can I make this work? What do I need to do? What do I need to say to make this right? Because this is a really good friend of mine, and I really care about this person. This can also be about a co-worker, okay? <laughs> I heard of a co-worker that, that rent that, a co-worker that became a romantic partner, okay? Someone's trying to make it right because they realize that they chose the wrong person. Are you trying to make it right 
you try to make it correct because you you re, you have realized I'm struggling with my words. Give me a moment, Aries. I think a lot of you guys are struggling to find the words for this person. Or they are struggling to find the words for you. It's almost like they think or you think. This could be vice versa, guys, to so take however it resonates. But someone is thinking like, I don't think I even have the words to make it right. <laughs> I know I effed up. I know I messed up. I know I didn't do the nicest things. I know I didn't say the nicest things. So what can I do or say to make this right? I knew that I put this person on the back burner. I knew that I was playing games. I knew that I was involving other people and treating this person like crap. So what can I really say or do to even make it right? Because I'm, I heard I'm here looking like a fool. I'm here just, I messed up, so how can I make this right? That's what I'm getting. Someone wants to make it right. Someone wants, to... this is so sappy, but I'm hearing someone wants to wipe away those tears that they created. Like, if they made you cry, they want to make it right. Okay. Um... There could be unexpected travel, unexpected movement. So some of you guys might have had traveling postponed or a job opportunity postponed. Then out of nowhere, that opportunity came back uh, to surface. So let's say maybe a year or two, you guys were supposed to have a job overseas. And that job... Um, the job, you know, opportunity was taken away due to various types of reasons. But now that opportunity has come back. But it came back unexpectedly for you guys. So some of you guys, like, was like, wow, now the opportunity is here. Like, do I have the, uh, do I still have the ability to take this opportunity? You know, sometimes when you and someone like you like acts you out unexpectedly, you, you almost don't know what to do or how to act. It's kind of like that. It's like <laughs> some of you guys received the opportunity and y'all don't even know how to respond because you thought the opportunity was long gone, you know? <laughs> so there could be something unexpected. On an unexpected opportunity to travel or an unexpected partner or um, an unexpected opportunity like unexpected partner uh, unexpected love interest that has wanted to talk to you all these years and they just didn't want to talk to you and all of a sudden they're talking to you and you don't know how to respond right because what in the eyes of someone not talking to you for months or years contacting you? You just don't know how to respond. Or this could be them. So when you guys finally talk to this person, <laughs> they probably don't know how to respond. Because they thought, they thought it was over. This relationship was over. I thought this connection was over. So why are you talking to me? Um, and it's funny how the lover's card came out. So let me get my bearings here. <sighs> Someone is coming back to a connection that fall apart unexpectedly. But when this person comes back, the other person might be really shocked that the other person has came back. It's almost like I thought you didn't want me anymore type of response or I thought you were done or I thought you given up on us <laughs> I did not know this is going to be a love reading but here we are <laughs> and this person that you coming back to y'all or 
when this person comes back to you, you look 10 times better. Whoever's coming back in the picture here, the person that's coming back is going to find out real quick that this person is looking good without them, okay? They look good, smell good. They, I heard they're eating better, taking care of themselves. This could be you or them. But someone wants to make someone feel good, y'all. <laughs> uh, before, before I did the reading, I felt a lot of pressure in my root chakra. And sometimes I get that sensation when... Um, <laughs> I'm really trying to keep this like PG, y'all. Someone wants to make you feel good, if you know what I mean. Or you want to make someone feel good, okay? Someone wants to um, have fun in the bedroom, okay? And y'all, this person is coming back quick. Like, they're coming back fast, okay? Like, they're coming back so quickly. Because the reason why they're coming back so quickly is because they, they, they are thinking that they ran out of time. Like... They're thinking, I have let months go by. And I have maybe, for some of you guys, I have let years go by. So the time is ticking on my chances with this person. So I need to come in quick. If I don't come in quick, my chance might be gone. Okay? Because this person knows that you are looking good and smelling good. And that you're on your prime. And they're, and they're like, well, if they look this good, I'm pretty sure other people will notice that they're looking this good. And they probably will want them as much as I do. So I need to <laughs> come back in before I, I miss my chance. Yeah, someone's coming back into a falling, uh, uh, someone's trying to come back into a failed connection, okay? Someone is definitely trying to come back. And they're coming, they're coming back quickly because they feel like they ran out of time. And someone feels really bad for how they treated somebody here. Like, they feel awful. Okay? I don't really see that in the cards, but I feel that. So it might come in the cards later. Let's see. So someone's coming back. <laughs> Either you or them, someone shall come back in the picture because they feel like they're running out of time and they're, they're not sure if you have other options because they know that you're on your prime, you're looking good. And they're like, damn, like, <laughs> I might miss my chance. I had my chance and I blew it up. And I, I just want to make it right. You might also have another suitor. Aries. So as someone is trying to come back in, like, by the time someone from the past tries to come in, you're already starting a new beginning with someone else. I think this person intu intuitively feels that. They can intuitively feel that you're talking to somebody else and it makes them so anxious that they messed up their chance because they thought that you were not going nowhere and that you will always be there. You got tired of waiting. So you started your new beginnings and you start working on yourself. You start elevating. They notice your elevation and you look 10 times better. And they're like, damn, I've noticed that she looks fine as hell or he looks fine as hell. I'm pretty sure other options know that she or he looks fine as hell. Or however you uh, define yourself, guys. And I'm really trying to be, you know, inclusive for all sexual and gender expressions here. But... <laughs> 
Someone's feel like the time is ticking because someone looks fine as hell and they're starting new beginnings with other people or other options and they feel like they fucked up their chance. Let's talk about this new potential partner. This is someone new, okay? But it's someone that as you're talking to someone new or as this new person here with this page of cups is trying to talk to you, this person from the past is going to try to come back in. Okay. And also, this person wants to apologize. Whoever hurt who, they want to apologize. I heard both people have hurt one another. But I think the person, one of you guys are really starting to realize your role, your part in the damage. Someone has already came clean about their dirt. But I think there was one person who did not took accountability for that part. And I think this person started to take accountability and wants to come back and um, apologize. Because I also see the Page of Cups as apologies. So someone wants to come back in and apologize. And around this apology, around this time that you guys will receive this apology, a lot of abundance is coming into your life, Aries. New job opportunities, romantic opportunities. A lot of people want to give to you all of a sudden. You're learning a lot of new things. Some of you guys could be going back to school or learning a new skill. Um, I heard skills and skill sets. So some of you guys are learning more than one thing at a time right now or within the month of July. I heard within the couple of months or years. So some of you guys are actually coming back to school and learning like an actual degree. Okay, that would take take years into completion, okay? You guys, <laughs> you guys have a lot of options. Like I said, they can intuitively, intuitive, well, intuitively, telepathically, they know deep down that you have a lot of options now since you left or since they left. Okay. You guys, so listen. The month of July, y'all are looking so good. I mean, y'all looking fresh. You got people looking at you like you like you rich money. Okay, like people look at you like you got the bag. Okay, it's just that. That energy that you feel like you guys are feeling really rich right now you guys are feeling like rich luxurious like high class even I'm, I'm hearing some of you guys feeling like a high class like please don't take offense it was almost like a superiority complex but in a good way <laughs> in a good way though it's like you guys feel like you're um, top of the chain Okay, you guys feel like you're on top. Okay, you you feel like you're on top of your game in the month of July, and it shows when you walk around. You exuberate confidence in the month of July, and you turning heads, men, men or woman here, or non-binary. Okay, you guys are really like turning heads. Okay, <laughs> um. Turning heads. And you guys are just keep it to yourself. Do, 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 do. Healing your heart, healing things that have harmed you or tra traumatized you. You guys are really focused on yourself and healing. But you guys look so good doing it, guys. And that's helped you manifest opportunities and abundance your way. And also, a lot of options in terms of romantic partners. And this person from the past sees that. And they are scared. <laughs> Not scared, but they're anxious. Like, damn, I messed up. Like, this could have been mine, but I was playing around. This could have been mine, but I played around here. Okay. It's like, wow. Okay, a lot of them feel regretful. Like, man, I could have, I heard I could have contributed more. 
I could have helped contribute to their success. Some of them know that they have a whole lot more to give to you, but they chose not to. And they regret that. They truly regret that. They knew they had a whole lot more to they had a whole lot more of time, money, and resources to offer to you and help you as much as you were helping them. But they didn't tell you this. Why? They regret it though. I don't know why, but they regret it. They they know where they went. They know where they went wrong now. They know where they went wrong. And they really want to apologize, but they just don't know how to apologize just yet, I'm hearing. Okay? They really, like, they really love you. This person of the past, they really love you and they really care about you, Aries. This is either you, Aries, or this is them. They realize that you, that you are the one worthy of their time and resources. What I'm getting here is that someone has been giving their time and resources to someone who was not worth their time, rather than you. And you did all you could to prove to this person that you were worthy. And Aries, please, don't you ever again try to prove to someone that you are worthy of their time. If you feel like you have to prove yourself that you're valuable, walk away. Walk away. Okay, and that's probably what you guys did, and they're feeling it. They're feeling your absence, and they can't stand it because it's making them realize how much they love you and how much they did you dirty. They realize, I heard how bad I treated you. How like the, like I can't believe I, I even said those things to you. I can't believe I, I even did those things to you. I can't believe that I even helped these these other people who didn't even care about me, but you cared about me this whole time. Like, someone feels like they were not being fair to you. Or you feel like you was not being fair to them, okay? Yeah, they, they secretly want to be with you. This Empress card, because Empress to me is wifey or or marriage partner. It doesn't have to be a marriage partner, but it could be. This is this is so y'all. This is strange. How could someone that wants you so bad not show it and not, you know, why? Let me see why. Why would someone in this reading? Secretly love Aries, but not show it. They were being selfish. They're being selfish. They they wanted what they wanted all of what they wanted. They wanted to have all their options at once. Someone someone was being a player. Point blank. Someone was playing. Someone wanted to be a player and it wasn't done playing yet. They wasn't. They were, they were confused as well, okay? They were confused with their own emotions, even though they didn't show it. They were really confused, okay? They were confused. And they were too busy chasing the bag, I'm getting. They were all about the career, the bag, the money, the finances. But now they're ready to come back. They're ready to come back and make something more serious. Because I felt like this person from the past was not so serious. And now they, now they want to be serious. Now that you're gone, now they want to be serious. I'm not trying to laugh at this person, y'all, or, or laugh at you. It's just, y'all, this story happens all the time. 
I hear this story all the time about someone not appreciating that person until they're gone. And now this person is scared that they messed up forever. Okay? Eight of Wands at the bottom deck. Someone wants to communicate, like, fast. Like, fast. Okay? But let's talk about this new person that's trying to come in. Okay, guys, be careful, people, of new suitors that try to come in. Um... Because some of it could be quite lazy, actually. Um, not really trying to work as hard as you are in life. Okay? Yeah. Some of them are lazy. And they want what you got. Okay? Because I feel a lot of y'all Aries on this reading knows how to make your money. Okay? <laughs> y'all know how to make your cha-ching. Okay? And there's going to be people around you, Aries, that will want your money. Okay? They don't want you. They want your money. So, Aries, be careful of that. I'm just going to be honest. The new people that are coming in, they don't want you. They don't want your love. They want your money. Do you understand? I'm, I'm so serious. Like, this is, this is me, like, Saying that you deserve it, you deserve better than someone who just wants you for what you got, right? So use your power of discernment in the month of July, guys, because I feel like abundance is really coming in for you guys so heavily, and there could be people like seeing that, right? And they just want that. They don't want you. They just want your money. And you deserve love, Aries. All right. Oh wow! Some of you guys made your some of you guys made your decision on what you want anyway, or who you want anyway. So the other options that are coming into you, they don't matter. You're so focused on who you really want. I think you guys really have an eye on who you really want. Okay. You don't want nobody else, or they don't want nobody else but you. Take it, have a risk. Take it, have it. Take it however it resonates. Oh, guys, I think someone is struggling to find a words to talk to you. I feel like if they if they pick up the phone and call you to apologize, I don't think they know what to say. I think they'd be so tripped up by the fact that you actually answered the phone because that's how much they feel like they're fucked up. They feel like they're fucked up so bad that you are not even answering the phone, okay? Let's see if there's any new people coming in here. <clears throat> uh, there could be a, uh, someone that, a new person, a new person that could be coming in. It's someone who is self-sufficient, highly intelligent, okay? And this person does not chase. Whoever this person is, they don't chase. They just sit there and focus on them and work on themselves. They're not someone who is really focused on love. They're more focused on, them, on themselves. And to be honest, what I'm getting here is the person that, that you are focused on. You do not really care much about people in your past. Or you're not really caring about people who just want your money. You are really focused on someone or moving towards someone who is really self-sufficient, intelligent, and beautiful, and or handsome. I heard they got a good head. They have a good head on their shoulders. That's who you. That is who you moving towards. Okay, or that's who you have your eyes on. The person that you have your eyes on is someone who's smart intelligent strategic I heard and self-sufficient they have a lot going on for themselves so we 
walking towards or whoever you choose to be with, okay, in the month of July. Let's get some oracle cards. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, guys. Um, I really do think that this person wants to come through with the olive branch. The person that's coming back from the past. They're really doing... Wow. They're really getting out of their comfort zone to talk to you, okay? So... I'm advised to tell you that when this person comes back, be easy on them. Go easy on them because they're already feeling anxious. They're already feeling like butterflies in their stomach just to contact you, okay? Like they're they're, they're trembling, okay? They're trembling right now. <laughs> All right? This this be be easy on them when they try to apologize. That doesn't mean you have to take them in. Just hear what they have to say, okay? Aries, for those who who wants to, for those who are watching this, you guys want to, you guys want to make it right. You want to make things right with someone. Be bold. You have to be bold and make the first move, Aries, because the person that you have your eye on. The person that you have your eye on, whether it's that person that you want to make it right with or it's someone that is new, you have to be bold and make that first move, okay? You might be used to women coming to you or men coming to you to make the first move, but it's advice that you actually make that first move. And some of you guys, when this person comes back, you guys might actually start a new whole cycle with them, okay? Like, some of you guys might start dating again, being friends again. Because whoever's coming back, they're really sincere this time. They might have been playing in the past, but they're really sincere this time. And you, and you knew, you you would know if this is for you guys. I think some of you guys intuitively know that this person is coming back in to apologize. Because you know they fucked up. You were just waiting on them to know that they fucked up <laughs> with them, right? You, you continue to live your life until they realize for themselves that they messed up. Yeah, some of you guys are going back to someone in your past. Okay. Or some of you guys are maybe not going back with them, but it's like picking up where you guys left off or starting a friendship with them. Let's see if I can get some sweet messages that I have <laughs> that I have um written down over index cards, okay? I call them sweet, sweet messages. Oh, man, some of you guys are really struggling to find the words to say, or they're struggling for the words to say because they know they messed up bad, y'all. <laughs> they know they messed up bad. Okay, you got to one. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We got to get a few more because this person has a lot to say. Okay, a whole lot. <clears throat> All right. 
You're one in a few I know that really read physical books. So this person thinks that you're kind of old school in terms of how you learn information. Uh, this person thinks that you tend to do things that the typical type doesn't usually do. Right? So you're probably like a bookworm or you like to read books. And this person is definitely not used to that because all the other people all the other people that they talk to does not read books like you do. There's there's something about you that nobody else does. There's something about you that compared to other people that they talk to, you don't do. And I think that's what makes you so unforgettable, Aries. Or that's what makes you can't forget this person. Okay. Okay. Sorry if it seems weird when you catch me staring at you. I can't help but love what I see. So someone be staring ultra hard <laughs> when you and them are hanging out. Hey, when you and them are hanging out in person. Ooh, jeez. I need a break from all of this desire, this love. What are you doing to me? Okay, someone cannot forget you. Okay? Or you can't forget them. <laughs> Oh, let me keep this PG. Someone likes the way your tool works, if you know what I mean. Someone likes the way your uh, lower regions make them feel. And they can't, they can't stay away. They need some, okay? They need some more, okay? And they miss hanging out with you. They miss hanging out with you or you miss hanging, hanging out with them. You miss, like, uh, going to like dinners with them, eating together, laughing. You guys, we miss the time that you guys shared with one another. Yeah, they miss they miss looking at you. they miss looking at you. They think that you're eye candy. Yeah, they love being with you. They love being around you. And they can't, they almost can't stand it. Okay? Because I don't think they're used to that. I don't think they're used to dating someone that have that has them so captivated like you do. Okay? You captivate them. And they think that you, it's like you captivate them, but no one else does that for them. And they can't stand it. And they think that you look really good for your age. Okay? You might look really young for your age or you think that they look good for their age but someone cannot stop thinking about you or you can't stop thinking about them okay but that's it guys i really do hope you like this reading please like share subscribe comment what you think did it resonate the song that resonate did all of it resonate but um i see you guys next month and yep bye